Hey everybody, Tim and Julie here for Batman Beyond Season 2, Part 6. Only one more part for the season, then we're done with Season 2. For episodes 20, 21, 22, 23, because that's how numbers work. Um, So episode 20, Zeta. So this is actually a backdoor pilot episode. And I love that term, backdoor pilot. <laughs> Uh, basically, this is the introduction to the character Zeta, who will actually get his own TV show, where it's all about Zeta. Like, this whole episode is about Zeta, who is a synthoid, is a robot, trying to become his own person, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, the TV show is him continuing that, and he meets this young woman named Ro, and they go on all sorts of adventures, and they do whatever. Uh, Batman actually does show up in one episode of that. Uh, it's kind of funny though because in this, Zeta like has like a kind of a normal body, but like he doesn't really have a head. Like right. his, his neck is like a U mm -hmm. shape. Whereas when they go to the Zeta project, they've never talked about it. They've never said why, but he looks more humanoid. Like he actually does have a head and stuff. Well, Zeta. So like I said, Batman showed up in one episode of Zeta Project, and then we will see that version of the Zeta because he's also a different voice actor. We'll see that version of Zeta in season three. He also, mm -hmm. with Ro, uh, he'll show up in next season for one episode as a little crossover. And then it's one of those, like, for a long time, I didn't even piece together. I was like, oh, that's the same Zeta? Because <laughs> it's so drastically different. But, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a lot of backdoor pilots are that way. Like, if you look at, like, Empty Nest, the Empty Nest episode of Golden Girls is so different than the Empty Nest TV show. Like, it's not even the same actors. So, I mean, I, they, they change a lot, but it's mm -hmm. it's the feeling. Yeah. So, uh, so what did you think of Zeta, the Synthoid, etc.? I like this one. Because, I mean, yeah, he was mean and stuff, but mm -hmm. he, towards the end, he just wanted it all to stop. He wanted to be a good guy. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, yeah, he turned out. It was good. Probably my favorite part is where Max is like, just get rid of your weapons. And he just starts he pulling out. Yeah, like just guns ribs. and knives. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. well, yep. Uh, the next episode, Plague. So I grew up watching Batman Beyond. Like, I remember being little. I was like 10 or 11 when the show came out. I'd watch it every week. Loved Batman Beyond. Since then, as an adult, I bought the entire series on Blu-ray as whatever i am now uh like i own hbo max so we're, that's what we're watching it on now i've seen this series multiple times i've seen plague before it's the introduction to cobra for the dc universe stuff like that but this is the first time i've watched it since you and i watched the 60s tv show i never knew that false face was a character from the 60s and that they recycled reused rebooted whatever you want into this and it's almost the same thing because in the 60s it was more of like a mask right. where he would like take it off and then in the 66 comic book ones by jeff barker he false face actually becomes clayface mm -hmm. for the 60s comic book but in this like he's as a kid i always thought it was connected to clayface because he would kind of rearrange his face and then keep going mm -hmm. but the fact that there's a false face in the 60s and there's a false face in mm -hmm. this i mean it's just interesting that they've the the batman just keeps building, and building yeah. so little shout outs like that that i never caught as a kid but now as an adult you you kind of pick up on them mm -hmm. so uh what did you think of cobra false face uh, this is also the return of the scavenger, the the hunter character that we saw mm -hmm. a few episodes ago. And it was okay. I mean, scavenger, he's towards the end. What that need to try? He was helping Batman mm -hmm. get. Basically, he was he was let out of prison mm -hmm. to find False Face, mm -hmm. and then he saves Batman. It's almost like a Joker relationship. Like he well, saves he's Batman, Batman, and Batman's like, "Why did you save me?" He's like, "Nobody's gonna kill you but me." Yeah. So like he's not gonna let he's gonna protect Batman because only he, he can, can. He's the one that's gonna mm -hmm. kill him. Yeah. It, was, it was good. Uh, episode twenty two, April Moon. I don't know that song off the top of my head. Can't think of it, but it's based off of an older song. Uh, 
for teenagers or young adults, whatever, get body augments. And they're holding this doctor's wife hostage, but it turns out she just left the doctor for these these guys. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was okay. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, this one, yeah, that was kind of a miss for me. And uh, the final episode for today, episode 23, Centuries of the Last Cosmos. Years later, we have the movie things like Ready Player One, which is kind of what this reminded me of in hindsight. Three teenagers that play a video game get sucked into the real life version, uh -huh. but it's never what you think. No. It's just this nerd who wrote a book. Right. And I'm like, oh, I, that's, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think a lot of these kids nowadays, that's all they do is to sit there and play these games and games and just, because um, break Richard and mm. he, Charles, his friend, that's all they talk about, you know, all of them doing this and doing that and, you know, it's like. I don't okay. know if Richard still watches these videos or not. I don't think I so. I don't know. <laughs> but, but yeah, he's, you know, kids in L.A., just, uh, they don't have a sense of getting out and enjoying life and seeing stuff around them. They've just sat on these games. You're know. such a grandma. I'm a grandma. <laughs> I mean, realistically, I that's how I was. Nothing but video <laughs> games, and that goes back to the 90s. Yeah. So here we are 30 years later, and people are still playing video games. Right. So. But it was okay. Oh, I just I just like the the cosmos of it. Like mm -hmm. these kids just getting sucked into it, wearing the costumes, the costumes and stuff and, like that. Yeah. So, like when we go to Comic Con, that's all it is is a bunch of people dressed up like that. So. Uh huh. Right. Um, any closing thoughts for for these characters? No, it was they were good. I mean, well, you know, probably see some of them. Scavenger again, maybe. Probably. Yeah. I assume so. Yeah. All right. Uh, so for those who have seen it, what do you think of Zeta, Cobra, False Face, Scavenger? I don't even know the body augments people. Yeah. Out of all of them, that was the miss for this for this group. Uh, go ahead. Let us know. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and we'll see you guys next time.